it's time for the next installment of Comic Art Spotlight. Today, I would like to go over my panel page of Superman Batman Annual 3, page 14, penciled by Chris Batista and inked by Mick Gray. I purchased this directly from Mick at San Diego Comic-Con many moons ago. I was browsing his panel pages and this one popped out on me, aside from his more expensive splashes. A selling point he brought up was that this was a very early Batman book that brought back the pointy bat ears in 2019. This rendition definitely makes Batman more menacing. In terms of context in the panel page, it's a nice panel of Superman in the Batcave, a place where he's not that often portrayed in the comics. Supes is actually looking around pretty suspiciously as he can't let his guard down around Bruce. You never know when he'll just bust out a piece of kryptonite and take him out. I really like Chris's style of drawing the human figure. They have a very strong and chiseled feeling to them. Superman and Batman show a great deal of expression in their faces, something that I always notice in his art. An interesting note of this panel page is that Mick signed it for me, then instructed me to go have Chris Batista sign it as well. I was like, what? I didn't even realize he was a couple like tables away. <laughs> he was literally right there. I had to take a double take. <laughs> I proceeded to just go over to his table and played out in my head, like, what exactly am I going to say? I didn't want to just straight up plop this page on his table and ask him to sign it. So I waited shortly for him to finish talking with the fan. And then I told him that I had just purchased his art for Mick and he encouraged me to have you sign it. As he was autographing it, I mentioned to him that I was a fan of the pony bat ears. And oh man, like he proceeded to give me a five minute complete history lesson of the bat ear evolution. In a nutshell, pony bat ears are the only bat ears. I personally agree, but maybe not as pointy as Kelly Jones's renditions. Oh man, those are ridiculously huge. They would go toe to toe with Loki's horns and probably win in the 12th round. This page right here is the first comic art I purchased with prominent DC characters on it. I have always been more of a Marvel guy, but who doesn't like Batman and Superman? Was there anything that I missed? Don't forget to comment and like this video and hit the subscribe button for more original comic art content. In the meantime, this is Steve from Cantu Comics signing off.